Yo, what's up, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. It's time for an article. Yes, it is. Brothers, this is some sad news. Yeah. Tragedy. You know what I mean? Yep. This is... this is Yeah. Uh, Heartfelt, to be concluded. Yeah. What's the article about, bro? E3 is shutting down for good, y'all. It's no. the end of an era. <laughs> that was great. Oh, yep. man. You got to place this hat on. <laughs> right? Oh man! Um, Put the channel. Yeah. Yeah. E three, man. Yeah. Damn. E three. I wasn't expecting to hear that though. To be honest. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That. That's, they had a good run. Right. They. They, they had a what, ninety-five to two thousand. Yep. Yeah. Two thousand. Yeah. Two thousand twenty. Mm-hmm. Had a good run. Kind of like okay. Yep. Um. So. <laughs> so. Let's right. go ahead and get into our article, and then we. Yeah, talk man. about it. All cool. right. You guys ready for this? Yeah, man. So. Bring us on into the new year, Chris. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Starting the new year off with the whimper. Uh. The article is found on Variety, y'all, so y'all can check it out if y'all want to. Uh, It's titled, E3 is shutting down for good. It's game over for the Electronic Entertainment Expo, better known as E3. The Entertainment Software Association, the video game trade group that ran the convention, announced Tuesday that E3, first launched in 1995, is winding down. Quote, after more than two decades of hosting an event that has served as a central showcase for the U.S. and global video game industry, the Entertainment Entertainment Software Association has decided to bring E3 to a close. ESA remains focused on the advocating for ESA member companies and the industry workforce who fuel positive cultural and economic impact every day, end quote. E3 was canceled in 2020 because of the uh, pandemic and the in-person version of the show never recovered. ESA held an all-virtual E3 in June 2021 before it was canceled entirely in in 2022 and 2023 after the conference struggled to attract exhibitors and what turned out to be the final bid to re- revive the games expo esa last year formed a partnership to produce e3 2023 with read pop the event production company behind pax new york comic con star wars celebration and other events in 2019 the last time e3 was held in person the convention drew 66,100 attendees according to the esa even before the pandemic, E3 was losing steam. Geoff Keighley, founder of the Game Awards in 2020, launched Summer Game Fest. Before E3 2020 was canceled, Keighley said he was not participating in the expo because he believes in in-person events. He believes in-person events don't serve gaming fans, developers, or publishers as well as online events can. It has begun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much sums it up, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate yep. you. I have noticed E3 was losing steam. Mm-hmm. I remember before the pandemic happened, the expo was not popping. Uh, PlayStation came in mm-hmm. with nothing. Yeah. They had nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I remember Xbox was trying to rebuild themselves. Yep. They were buying the studios. They were trying to, you know. So they up. had nothing. They had nothing. And then Nintendo was just Nintendo. So I have noticed a lot of steam has been decreasing with E3. Um, my question to you guys is, what's your take on it? How do you feel, man? Um, on the one hand, it's sad because it marks the end of an era. Yeah. Um, E3 was something to look forward to every year. As far as if you were a fan of video games and wanted to see what was coming up, it was E3. Um, at the same time, it doesn't surprise me because of the things that have happened since 2028, since 2018, you got Nintendo direct. You got PlayStation going direct with their live streams whenever they do their showcases or whatever. Microsoft is doing it with with Xbox. So if you're if your big vendors aren't going to be there, it doesn't surprise me that this is what ended up happening. Mm. What about you, G? Man, I'm just thinking about the stuff that I got to experience. You know, watching E3 like years back and stuff, and it was it was cool because um you got to see uh, indie developers showcasing their games. We also got to see new consoles up and coming, and then we also got to see new blockbuster games. So you had all this different variety, and you had different presentations of what was to come. You know, sometimes stuff was in pre post production, so it was almost in a sense like a movie con in a sense for game development because yeah, yeah. games are just interactive. So it's like you had all this different variety and stuff. And going off of what you said, it started to lose steam because nothing new was coming out. It, everything just stopped and went yeah. to the hole. So it was cool, even if you never got to experience or play those games. You knew about it. And you followed the production. You knew yeah, when yeah. it was going. You were ready for it. Yeah. So it's like you don't have that anymore. And I kind of disagree with what Jeff Keighley said in the article about how, you know, online is more interactive than actually being there because it was more exciting when it was hands on. Yeah. 
and also interacting with other gamers and stuff like that. Uh, exchanging gamer tags. You know, you, you're going to meet people that are competitive, shooters, fighting games. So E3 not only represented a community, but brought a community together when it came to, like, gamers, competitiveness, no, real. business, real time. social yeah. media. So people were able to, you know, share their platforms and show what they do. And, mm -hmm. you know, it all came back to gaming. So a lot of that's still there. But it's the interaction I think people are going to miss because – I don't think this new era really cares about that, but those that were there in the beginning, it was all about the interaction and networking. Yeah. That was the exciting part. The, uh, this is the thing, man. We hit an era. We hit a, we hit a wall, right? Um, you have this mixture of 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s kids, right? Now throw us all in because our parents are part of it. Mm -hmm. And we've hit a wall where... There's nothing moving, and everything is losing steam from gaming, the media, music, movies, uh, new gadgets, new devices, just things like that. Nothing is popping right now. Let's just keep it a buck. You know what I mean? Even the women. I mean, Sexy Red is the hottest thing oh, <laughs> since bro. Red Hot Chili Peppers. I, I don't know, <laughs> but this is what they say, right? Man. So we've lost steam. I feel that. The gaming companies are just as greedy, and this is why they're doing this. Now, I do understand E3 has rules that they can't do certain things. I get it, mm -hmm. but that's what made gaming fun. I've been to E3 multiple times. You know what I mean? I, I started going to E3 back in 2003, and I've kind of went every other year. And when I tell you I had a great experience, I had a great experience because, just like you said, you got a chance to meet people that play the same game as you. Yeah. You got to chill, eat, you know, hang with new people and, and actually grow a bond with people. And then come back next year like, bro, what up, man? Yep. I, you know, you, can, you, you, you meet new now people. You, now you got a squad. To say that online is better is totally wrong because all you're doing is separating people again. You're making people more non-social by doing that. Um, Nintendo just had their Nintendo Direct. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think most people cared about what they watched. They had some great games. Yeah. But the experience is totally different. Like, what's going to happen when Nintendo releases their new new console? I got to watch them experience it online. Yeah. Instead of actually being there and actually playing it. I remember playing PS3. You know what I mean? Yeah. I remember going to play Xbox. Xbox, mm -hmm. 3, well, Xbox 360. Xbox One. You know what I mean? I remember Even the original those, Xbox was there. I remember, I remember, but I, when I was going, yeah, yeah, I remember those experiences. You know what I mean? And even when the Nintendo Wii U and the Switch, and we were able to actually experience certain stuff. You know what I mean? And now they're truly just memories. All right. And I, I hate, I hate that they're doing that. I think it's a dumb idea. I think it's dumb. I think E3 should always be there. I think the gaming companies need to get there. They're doing the same thing like the Comic Cons are doing. They're allowing people who don't exist to run. The media mm -hmm. is ruining it. And I'll I'll say this. I I see what they're doing because they're looking at it as, okay, and this is the, com the gaming companies. They're looking at it as, okay, so we don't have to go go to E3. We can save we can save that money for the boots and rent, renting the space out or whatever. And we can just run our we can just run our own thing completely free and we can and we can stream it and it's good. It's whatever. And they, they're not saying a negative with that, but I'm going to tell you the negative. You're not going to get real feedback doing stuff like that exactly what because you because what you end up doing is you filter your results in the chats or you disable the chats or whatever. Like, <laughs> like, real, real talk. Right like you, you 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 do the, the Disney move where comment session is off because you because it's getting trashed yep. or you yep. start or you start deleting everything. And it's not a good way to go in person tells you. If people are excited, or if you got work to do, just how they did the adventure game. Yeah, the adventure game came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, this is why I think they don't want to go to E three. Yeah. I don't think they want to do this because they don't want that heat. They know ain't no hot games for them to be coming out like that. Mm -hmm. They understand that. And they like, man, it's, it's not just show up. Because because I remember when God of War twenty eighteen was first announced at E three. Like there was, there hadn't been a God of War game in a minute. And it, I think it caught a lot of people by surprise because the reaction to that was awesome. Going fully online, you'll never get that again. Yeah, you're like, gonna get a you're, lot of you're, yeah, yeah, you're 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 missing. 
right? It, you're so going fully online. It it's going to lead to the companies lying to themselves, and they're going to say everything is good when it's not, and they are going to and they are going to end up in the the position that a lot of comic book shops are in now, where things are going to get shut down because you lied to yourself telling yourself everything was okay and it wasn't. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I think it's well said right there, man. Um, man, um, do you guys remember back in the back in the day when PS1 had that uh, interactive uh, convention thing called PlayStation Underground? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, where they had the demos and interactive thing. And I think that was a cool way to bring people in that weren't able to make it because at one point E3 was a very private event. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So they you had, had to, place you had to in work in the game. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you, you had, had to, to be in the, the community. Yeah. yeah. Community. So shout out to those. That it should have always still that. stayed the same. It should never yeah. been open. Technically, it should never been open to the public. That was the difference too. Period. Yep. And I feel like this also goes into the the Comic Con situation. Opening that void is like it's you're diluting what it was and what was special about it. Yeah. Because now people are showing up that are there to be, but they don't really care about the product. They yeah. just there and to see what celebrity they're gonna meet. Mm-hmm. Just like like when I when so I it hurts. my first time I went to E three, I was able to play video games alongside with Method Man. Now ain't that crazy? We playing Need for Speed or something like yeah, Need for Speed on, 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 Underground, one of them. Probably Underground, yeah. We're playing this, yeah. and I'm looking. And it's Method Man right here. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I got a chance to meet John Cena, Tori oh, Wilson. Cool. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. Those were great experience. They gone now. Now yeah. you now you can't like E three was a place where you can meet. Anybody. Tom Cruise would be right there and you walking in the same hall as Tom Cruise. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you just you just said, forget it, we're gonna go only online. And the people and I say this with the much much respect ever, man. But some of these cats out here are are not capable of even coexisting in the same room as people. And those are people that are cheering. Because they want it, it to end. They don't wanna be there. Right. They want they don't <laughs> they want to experience what we able to experience. But they don't have the balls to do it, so they rather everything get canceled so it can work in their favor, so they can be on that computer, be that warrior behind that screen, and that's whack. Yeah. Like you're liter- you're literally limiting people from gaining the power of communication and knowledge. Yeah, you're limiting it because I'll be honest with you, I'm not I'm not one of those guys that just sit there in the computer screen waiting to see what PlayStation gonna do. But if you had a special event, I can take off work. Yeah. I can show up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, I'm here for this. Boom, boom, boom. It ain't like that no more. And there's also, and I'm I'm gonna I'm keep on the developers because people are gonna stop aren't gonna do it. Um, there's also the fact that by leaving E3, you take pressure off of the developers because with E3, when you showed up, oh, when you showed up, you had to come correct. If you showed up with something with something that didn't work, they was gonna let you know it. And by by going away from that, it's it's going to have a effect. Like it's games developing is already lazy. Mm-hmm. It's already getting to the point where they where they say, sell you a disc that's just data and don't work the game. If you if you put that disc in there and you play that game before the release date, it ain't gonna work because that day one patch ain't out yet, so the game ain't even on the disc. Yeah, you can't even play the game. Like yeah. they they it's too much control. It, yeah. Like this is just another another method for them to control the the industry, and I don't like it because now now they're going to be able to control what people think and say about the game. It, just like games are, it's just all, it's all going to be a bunch of fake stuff. I don't like it. Well, yeah, I I totally agree, but it, you know the downside of this is, you know, in America, it's not popping. Internationally, it is. They went so, over there. Yeah. So. I honestly believe it's going to end up something's going to end up coming in in replacement of it. It's going to be another event because you got to have something like that. You can't video games. People think a video game will be all good. People think that the new Grand Theft Auto is going to save them and all that stuff like that. And for some, it may. But I'm be honest with you, like working in retail right now, and I'm looking, and we still have a ton of Playstations and a ton of Xboxes and a ton of Nintendo Switches. That ain't a good look. No. That means people aren't buying these consoles and people aren't buying these games. And they're they're going to stop doing this. They're going mm-hmm. to because they're gonna realize we print all these discs and no one's buying these games. It's just like it's 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 gonna happen. That wall is real, and when it hits that wall, it's gonna take somebody to come from the heavens and rise all this. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. Yep. It's gonna happen because everything's hitting that wall. You lose an E3, 
Comic Con is gonna most likely be next. Mm -hmm. Concert halls are probably gonna be next. We ain't gonna go to concerts no more. Why you can't go to concerts? Well, the artist feel doesn't feel safe with the people they've been, been, been performing for for. 20 years now and making all their money so yeah. they're gonna do it online now i already see i already oh, see where it's going with this oh no they're gonna they're gonna it's just, gonna look, it's gonna just look, yeah they're gonna film they're just gonna film something in front of an empty room or yeah. with single pants and they're gonna release it in theaters and say here you go yep. <laughs> like everybody that ran and watched that taylor swift and that yep. beyonce and a, yep y'all the first trial yep <laughs> beyonce said oh yeah y'all watch this yep. hold my beer y'all just met mess, y'all messed the game up you know what i'm saying so and then you're gonna be looking like richard pryor on the whiz standing behind that microphone and it's going to be a big head sitting there singing a song to y'all. <laughs> but guess what? It's not about us. It's, it's about, about y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know what y'all thought about this article. How you guys feel about the E3 thing, man. Honestly, I think I'm sad. I think you sad. I think you're sad. I think we're sad on the level of we're watching something that was epic just end. You know what I mean? And it puts a lot of worry in all our hearts because if we're getting rid of gaming conventions, comic books is surely next. Mm -hmm. Games right. still make more money than comic books. Yep. And yeah. if that's next, then, you know, movies might be next. You know what I'm saying? All these... These streaming services, like get your DVDs and Blu-rays while you still can, ladies and gentlemen, because they are bringing down the hammer, and there won't be nowhere to get these this media. And go buy your extra DVD Blu-ray player. <laughs> Trust me, because I'm telling you, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna thank me at the end of the day. If you're new to the channel, go to press the subscribe button, thumbs this video up. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm J3. You want to show? Woo! Then just it's your boy C. Road to 100,000 subscribers, y'all.